Hey guys, today's story is a little explosive. A few years ago, I was invited to join in a college D&D club that my friend, Nathan, was running, who I was hearing tell of being a great DM. But there's also this dude named Chris that I had only heard bad things about. So, I went to the session zero for my character creation at level one and found him a bit standoffish, but didn't think too much of it. And while I was rolling up my trickery cleric, Chris was bragging about how cool his artificer was going to be, and was using very power gamey language. He had printed some anime girl as a character reference, and was describing how she was going to be super capable, but shy. And, well, you get it. The first session came around, and we started to get into it. The other players in the group were a blast to play with, but Chris only RP'd with NPCs that had something that he wanted. Also, his character who was supposed to be lawful good turned out to be more of a chaotic neutral at best, and everything he said about how his character was supposed to act didn't come off in the RP. So we got to a cave that had an ancient ruin of my character's religion, a religion that had been long dead until recently. And I got excited about this culturally important find, and started reading the hieroglyphs as I was the only one able to. We were RPing amongst the group about their meaning before the excavation began when Chris decided that we were taking too long and shouted at the party to get out of the way because he's going to throw a flask of explosives at the wall. In character, I shouted at him in turn to stop and place myself in the way of the ruin. Meanwhile, he continued to shout at me to get out of the way while the party was pleading to him. He ignored it all and started a countdown. I didn't budge and took fire damage, and it brought me down to half health. And honestly, I was actually enjoying the drama and RP. It was tense, and I was being confrontational for the first time in my gaming career. I used thaumaturgy to make my eyes go black, and to make my clothes move as if they were underwater, and give my voice a whispering, creepy undertone. I then got real close to Chris's character and demanded that she apologize and promised not to pull this stunt again. Chris doubled down and insisted that he had done nothing wrong, and that it was my fault for standing in the way. This escalated until I said in character that I wouldn't work with anyone that would endanger people's lives like that. And PvP started. I think that I initiated it, but Chris had cast False Life, and I cast Inflict Wound, and the fight was over. Level 1 and all that. His character got healed by a party member, and Chris tried to keep fighting, but the rest of the party held his character down. At this point, Chris got super pissed off, and he claimed that I did it out of nowhere, and refused to acknowledge that he attacked me first, and said, We don't do that in this group. However, the rest of the party sided with me, which made him even angrier, and the session ended not so long after. In between sessions, he sent me a wall of text about the homebrew rules about PvP and how to initiate it and what things are allowed. To which I talked to the DM about, and he said that he had never heard of these rules. And later on, I found out that Chris was trying to get me kicked out of the club, but everyone else had sided with me, despite being brand new to the group. I had also found out that Chris had killed many other PCs, which was nearly always unprovoked in previous games. But we had played about a dozen or so more sessions until the campaign concluded, and throughout that time, he continuously bragged about his character, hoarded any magic items we found, and tried to hog the spotlight, despite never having any interesting RP with anyone. Chris also acted really strangely after session, doing his best not to let me talk to the GM, or give the GM rights home. And after that campaign, I never went back to the D&D club, but I still do play with the people I liked from it. Well guys, nothing like the power of anime and friendship to, uh, make you that guy, eh? It's just kind of sad though that with how good this friend of a DM was, that he never got rid of this guy, but maybe it's one of those circumstances where they literally couldn't so long as they wanted to keep doing it in that particular area. 
Kind of like how one of the stories I did ages ago where they couldn't vet or kick out people because the library or wherever they were wouldn't allow them to do such. But in any case, that's the end of the story. I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, maybe think about subscribing and staying tuned for future videos. But as always, have a good one.